everybody, it's Jess and David here with Blush Jess. Thank hey you guys. so much for watching. This is our final video for the Taste Test Tournament. It's a candy bar madness taste test tournament. Part three. Yes, part final. three. Final. We are going to tell you our favorite candy bar. So far, there's been a <laughs> lot of surprises. A lot of competitions, a lot of defeats on both sides. So this will, a little bit more on but her side. keep letting <laughs> us know your favorites. Absolutely. Really enjoying We that. love hearing your feedback on what y'all think. So. Okay, so he's going to explain what we're gonna do. So to recap, if you haven't watched any of the previous videos, the links to both videos are gonna be below. So you can go back and watch part one, then part two. But we took a vote of Instagram, Facebook, um, you know, just chatting with friends and family, as well as we did a live stream where we asked you guys to list your favorite candy bars that you love. We took the 16 top vote getters. We broke them up into four brackets based on their categories. We had a Smooth Champion, which ended up being uh, the Hershey's Chocolate Bar. We had a Crunchy Champion, which ended up being the Whatchamacallit, which actually is the... <laughs> which is the focusing issues. Which is the Dark Horse. It's on my face right now. And then we had a Peanut Round, which is the consistency of the candy bars, predominantly peanut-based. The Snickers won that, which was the top overall vote-getter of all candy bars. So all, most of y'all have said the Snickers was your favorite. And then in the Unique category, which means the consistency is very different and unique to all candy bars, the Butterfinger won that round. But we had a lot of candy bars get eliminated in the process. That We I, had a lot of my favorite candy we bars. Had, it, was, it was mutual. There was a couple of times that I wanted one to go a little further than it did, like the Kit Kat I thought could have gone further. Uh, but the biggest defeat for me was the Milky Way because it was also the number two overall vote getter behind the Snickers. So a lot of you guys also thought the Milky Way was a great candy bar. But Jessica had a number of candy bars, didn't even get out of the gate of the first round. And so we just kind of went back and looked at all of them. We said, you know what? Some of these got a lot of votes and some of these need to get a chance to get back in. So we're going to have, as you, as y'all probably already heard me say in the previous video, a wild card round. Now what's different about this wild card round is instead of just two, they're going to be three entries into this. It's going to be a triple threat wild card. So what Jessica is going to do is because all three of these that are in this wild card were her original choices, she is going to pick the winner between all three. I'm going to taste the bars with her, but I'm not going to vote. She's going to vote what she thinks is the best of all three. That will get a chance to get back into the final four. Those three candy bars are the take five, which is my new one of my new favorites. It's super good. The Almond Joy. Classic. And the Heath Bar. Delicious. So Jessica's going to quickly cut up a, uh, d a couple bites out of both of those. Once again, we're going to then go into the Final Four tournament with the winner of these. And we will then determine by the end of tonight what is the best candy bar according to our votes. But do not forget, we did this on an actual tournament bracket, one seed versus four seed, two versus three, across all 16 candy bars. So your votes put the candy bars where they are. We just happen okay, to be the ones so tasting them. so the first them. ones we're gonna do is the Heath bar. So here's the Heath bar again. I love Heath bars. That toffee flavor. Very unique. Oh, this so was crunchy. This was originally in the crunchy category. And they got defeated by the um, by the Kit Kat, thanks to Lucy. <laughs> and you. Okay, next, Almond Joy. My least favorite. Mm. Love the almond. Love the chocolate. Cannot stand coconut. I love Almond Joy. I like mounds too. I don't like the dark chocolate on it. The almond joy with the milk chocolate. Really good. Okay. And then the take five is a newer bar to me. It's really good. It has the peanuts, the peanut butter, the pretzels, and the caramel. And it's delicious. Okay. Almond joy was in the unique category. This take five was in the peanut round because it's got a lot of peanut in it. I know my favorite of these three, but I'm not going to say anything because it's up to Jessica. I really like all three of these. They're probably my top three, um, really honestly. Some of my favorites. I'm going to go with how I feel right now. Mm -hmm. It could change from day to day. <laughs> but right now, my favorite of the three, take five. It's my new favorite candy bar. 
it's really really good it has a mixture of all the things i love the sweet the salty so i'm going to choose the take five sometimes people ask us how do you know you two are perfect for each other it's moments like this because the take five is my favorite of those three as well i knew he was gonna say that <laughs> so congratulations take five you're advancing and you're going to give a chance now to get back into this tournament now i went back and looked at all the winners and the two of the final four that we both agreed need to be in were the whatchamacallit and the butterfinger the snickers had more votes than any other candy bar by a long shot so the snickers needs to be represented so then we went to the other controversial one which was the hershey bar but i've heard from a lot of you that you really love the hershey bar i love it too but i'm just talking about in terms of getting into the final four it did not get in there easily and the snickers by vote would have so the take five is going to match up against the hershey bar the winner of this will be in the final four and then we will close this out tonight yeah this is going to be so. for me so i like both of these so okay, here's the good. hershey bar believe it or not Wow. It's so good. It's so I just popular. always come back to it. It's just such a simple one note candy bar. One note, which is milk chocolate. That is so creamy. And that Hershey's chocolate is just a unique flavor. Very few chocolates taste like this, if any. Okay. But this is going to be harder for me because this pretzel's growing on me. I really like this. It's such a good mixture of flavors. Mm -hmm. There's nothing, there's not too much of anything. It's a really good balance. It's weird though because in this candy bar, the chocolate's not a, not a very strong note. Mm -mm. You almost don't even taste it. It's definitely um, the, the peanut, the and pretzel, the, and the, the peanut. The, the peanut and the pretzel. Really the salty out. overwhelms it for sure. This one is really hard for me because when I want a Hershey bar, a take five is not really going to do it for me. Right. And when I want to take five or something different, the Hershey bar is really not going to do it for me. But I'm just going to vote based on how I feel right now. <coughs> And um, the one I would want more of right now would be the Take Five. Hmm. But I really, really like the Hershey Bar, and um, it's still one of my favorites. This is very difficult. I'm agreeing with her. Take Five, you have just made it back in out of obscurity. We have our final four. We have Snickers, Butterfinger, whatchamacallit, and the take five. Now, to do this fairly, I'm going to put the um, the two that are most similar against each other, and then the other two which are most similar against each other as well. So we're gonna go back to our standard classic one versus four, two versus three formula. The one of these that got the least amount of votes was the take five, so it will go against the one that got the most amount of votes, which was the Snicker bar. So that's where we're gonna start. Okay, so here, here is the Snicker bar. And Jessica has discovered in these last few videos that she has a hatred of nougat. I've heard a lot of you in the comments, so you agree with me, that the nougat is too mushy and too sweet. But and yet, you feel me. You feel, you're my people. And if you don't like a lot of sweets, I can understand that. But again, Snickers overwhelmingly had so many more votes than any other it candy It's a classic. Bar. What's your mom's favorite? Yeah. It's my dad's favorite. It's my number three for sure. I love Snickers. And I don't hate it. As of right now. Then again. I like the little mini we'll ones better because you get less nougat in there. These big ones, I don't know if you can see. Every, all that light brown stuff at the bottom, that's all nougat. Um, there's so much nougat yeah. and it doesn't want to focus there. There it goes. The peanut's uh, the dominant taste. There's too but, much nougat for me. It's yeah. too sweet. I can't, like, I, seriously, one bite of that and I'm sweetened out. So now, so, take five again. I'm sad because it's the last little bit of our bar. It's a smaller bar. What happens if we want to advance? I don't know. We thought it's a call. We shouldn't remember it really strongly. It won't for me. Snickers is better. I like the take five better. You're, you're resolved in that? I like this take, take by better because there's no nougat. However. You're struggling. I'm not struggling. My favorite is the take five. I'm just trying to see. Should it beat the Snickers, which is number one? Or should we just say because it got this isn't votes, this isn't we're not voting for the public. We're voting for me and you. My favorite out of these 
Because I take five. My favorite is the Snickers. But it's because I don't like nougat. My favorite is the Snickers because I love that. I love that flavor combination of the three. So more than I love the pretzel. Because it's a tie, should we stay with it with the rock paper scissors, or should we default to the votes? Rock paper scissors hasn't been in your favor in this tournament, but at the same time, I really don't think it's fair to them. Because again, guys, Snickers had, if I'm not mistaken, nearly like 30 votes total. The closest to that was like 18. I mean, it was overwhelming. So I just feel like as much as I like to take five, the fair thing to do is just to default to what you guys think. And You're not saying that just because we're out of bar, are you? No. <laughs> okay. No. Um, my favorite is really the take five. Um, so I don't know how you I'll, I'll put it this way, guys. This was really close. But again, the Snickers barely edges out the take five for me. So, All so right. I will concede and let Snickers beat the take five. But if you guys have not tried take five, you got to try it. It's so good. So congratulations, Snickers. You are advancing now into the next round. So now we're going to go into the other side of the bracket, which is the Butterfinger versus the whatchamacallit. I am dreading this one. These are both really good. Butterfinger is probably my favorite candy bar, period. The closest to it is the Milky Way, which Jessica eliminated with the Hershey bar. Um, so, but whatchamacallit distinctly has a very similar texture and taste. Whatchamacallit so, is delicious. And I've heard a lot of you say, oh, I haven't thought about whatchamacallit, and it, it is delicious. If you haven't tried them all, but here's tried and true Butterfinger. It's good by itself. It's good in other combinations. I still love those, what we had when we were kids, the Butterfinger BBs. That was my favorite. Those were great. My favorite ice cream in the world is my mom's homemade Butterfinger ice cream. It is uncanny. The best ice cream I've ever had in my life. It's so good. It is good. I don't love how it kind of sticks in my teeth though. You get over that because what sticks tastes good. <laughs> Okay. Versus the dark horse of this competition. This one has blown us away with how delicious it is. It came right out of the gate hard. It knocked off the it knocked off the Twix. I know, which Seriously. is one of our favorites. Everybody was like mad at us in the comments because of that. But okay. literally, in that moment, guys, this was better. And then it knocked off the Kit Kat, which in that moment again, this was better. You guys. This taste is just It's so good. Unbelievable. The texture of it. It's so, it kind of has a nutty buddy texture, like mm -hmm. a little Debbie nutty buddy. Mm -hmm. It kind of has that texture in the middle. It's not as crispy and, 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 just, and, um. I mean, that is delicious. The Butterfinger is a little bit more edgy, like a little sharper and mm -hmm. stickier. This is more smooth in a way. It's so good. But it's got a great flavor profile, good texture, good flavor overall. That hint of caramel in it adds a little smoothness to it. I... I like both of these. I do too. This is almost a coin flip for me, and I, I cannot believe I'm saying that because I'm so loyal to Butterfinger. I think that whatchamacallit is a little bit better. I love Butterfinger too, and every time you do that, it goes blurry. I'm sorry, guys. Um. Anyway, I, I think that the whatchamacallit is better. Am I really going to bash my loyalty and go with the whatchamacallit? You know what? Why not? Whatchamacallit, you are better than the Butterfinger. And you have just advanced into the final round. Guys, we have a Cinderella story for this tournament. We have the Whatchamacallit, which is a out of nowhere obscurity. I think it got two total votes against... But I've heard a lot of you say in the comments that, oh my gosh, you're yes. right. But what why did I, why did so I mention good. that? Why didn't I put that one in? It's one that you totally don't think about. I, I don't think I've had it in forever. Me too. But it's so good, so, so good. So we have a two vote getter taking on a Titan that's synonymous with candy bars, 30 vote getter, Snickers versus whatchamacallit. Thank you guys. I don't know that I really want to try this again because I'm, uh, I'm starting to get a little full too. And we've, this is all we've done. This is, we've only, we're only been filming tonight and I'm already getting a little sweet out. These, this is so sweet. I'm going to get like the teeniest bite of nougat. I can't here's, eat that. Here's Snickers again. Too much nougat for me. It's so good. Caramel, peanut, nougat, covered in chocolate. They had about a fourth of nougat. Like a fourth of the nougat that it has. I'll Snickers has dialed in a flavor. They drive it home. I think that's why I like the ice cream bar is because they take out the nougat and they, and they put, the put in the ice cream. Okay. 
But it's just classic, guys. When you, if you if you were blindfolded and they put this in in your face and you bit into it, that's a Snickers. You just know it. It's so distinct. All right. I want you to call it. <laughs> it is like a compressed Nutty Bunny with. Does it have caramel too? It has a hint of caramel in it. Plus, it has the chocolate. A lot of the chocolate. It's so good. Can you, show like, me, can you show me again what it looks like on the inside? I don't know how well you, you're going to see Have you never seen the inside of it? There you go. That's a good shot. Um, it is like compressed Nutty Buddy. Oh, let's try them. Caramel. It's got the caramel, the peanut butter, the really good crispy almost, texture. Almost like a, it's almost like a wafer. Uh, it's almost like got a Kit Kat texture inside, like a wafer but texture. Like, so that's what I'm saying. Like the Nutty Buddy. It's kind of like that texture. Can we another bite? Sure, why not? Honey, do we have a Cinderella story here, or does, like with us, so yeah, time it was. or does the Alabama Crimson Tide roll over <laughs> and, take an, and take an 18th national championship here? For me, it's not even close. The, I would much rather have the whatchamacallit than the sticker of Shabar. Though, for what you think, though. Guys, if you're a candy bar purist, like I am, this is hard. I love the classic four or five Big Daddies, and I always have. I love <laughs> Milky Way, Butterfinger, Snickers, not like Milky Way. Hershey Bar, you know, Hundred Grand, We're Payday. We're not saying any of those are No, great. they're all they're amazing. All good. Most of the, and all of those made it into the, the semifinals of their brackets, so they're all great. But guys, out of obscurity, this thing has shocked me and surprised me at just how good it is and I'm killing myself now for not eating more of them throughout my life to make a full, you know, whatever about them. Yeah. Guys, you hate it. You can hate me or you can hate us or whatever. <laughs> right here, right now, tonight, I am saying on the record, I like the whatchamacallit better than the Snicker Bar. So are we saying that whatchamacallit is our favorite candy bar? I haven't had it against the Milky Way. But for right now, <laughs> texture-wise, it the one has all the flavors. It has the good texture. It has the chocolate. To me, I feel like it's the best. I'm surprised. I didn't even remember our whatchamacallit mm -hmm. when we started this. We have a Cinderella story. Congratulations to the whatchamacallit. You have just advanced and you are crowned now the Candy Bar Madness Tournament Champion. Congratulations out of obscurity. You two vote getters should win something. Go buy yourself a whatchamacallit and if crown you yourself a prize. If you are watching this and you have not had a whatchamacallit and it fits into whatever diet plan you're on, go out and try a whatchamacallit because it is so good. So good. Um, so good. Delicious. If you like peanut buttery, nutty, nutty buddy kind of type flavors, you will love the whatchamacallit. So good. Um, do we have any special mentions? What is your favorite, you could say without me influencing you, um, this is a special mention for me. I know this package is mm -hmm. really ripped up. You take five. I will I will agree this with her. This is almost tied with what you call it. And it may not I be really... in this color. You may be in the classic red wrapper. It may depend on where you're at, what location you're at. I've never seen a red wrapper. Well, yeah, if, you, if you've been watching the tournament and you'll watch it again just now, the red wrapper is what I'm is predominantly. So maybe they just redid the wrapping. This is a special honorable mention because I love this too. It's honestly, it's just as good as the whatchamacallit to me because mm -hmm. I love that pretzel flavor too. Delicious. Yep. I'll throw a bone in there for my dad. If you haven't found a hundred grand, give it a try. It's a great candy bar. It's really good. I like it. If you like a crunch bar, it adds a few more elements uh, to the crunch bar. But I think guys, one that we both would agree never gets the credit it deserves. If you haven't had a payday, Go get a payday. That is a good one. It's I mean, so you don't no you don't chocolate in you it. don't think of it because because it's not chocolate you don't think of it. It's only peanuts and only caramel. But guys, I promise, the moment you bite into it, especially if you have a diet soda or something salty nearby to drink with it, once you bite into it, it is so satisfying. It's a great candy bar. It's I really love good. it. That's really good. It's got a lot of protein too. Yep. So it's really good. So anyway, that is our. Candy Bar Madness Tournament. Another tournament. What you call it in the in the books? You are the winner of this tournament. If you hate us right now, you can comment. If you agree <laughs> with us, then great. If you've never had a What You Call It, go, go try, try it. one. Then make your comment based on what you think. So, um, we have more taste test videos in the works. Can we tease anything coming? 
I don't want to give it away because I feel like whatever we say, we're going to give it away. But there is one coming and we are, it's not just going to be the two of us. Um, and uh, if you have any suggestions for further taste test tournaments, of course, leave them down below. We have so many ideas written down and we would love to add some more to the list. You never know which ones we're going to do Absolutely. next. Absolutely. We love doing these. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below and don't forget to tell us of these uh, candy bars we've tried. What is your favorite still? Do you agree with us? Disagree with us? Go try a whatchamacallit and please comment in the comments. I tried one. Yay or nay. Tell us what you think. Yes, let us know. If you are not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And also, if you'll hit the little bell beside it, that Ding. really helps us out. And it will notify you when we post new videos. Absolutely. We will see you guys all next time. We love you. Take care. Bye, everybody. Bye.